السلام علیکم وعلیکم السلام و برکاتہ شفیق خان فرام لنڈن یو کے آئی ایم اے بزنس مین کین وی یوز اے کریڈٹ کارڈ آف اے کنوینشنل بینک بیسڈ آن انٹرسٹ اینڈ ٹیک کیئر دیٹ وی آلویز پے دا اماؤنٹ بفور ڈیو ڈیٹ اینڈ دھس ناٹ انوالو ان ربا ریگارڈنگ یوزنگ اے کریڈٹ کارڈ آف اے کنوینشنل بینک وچ از بیسڈ آن انٹرسٹ آن ربا اینڈ انشورنگ دیٹ وین وی یوز اے کریڈٹ کارڈ اف یو گیو within a period of 29 days to 59 days they don't charge you interest so if we take care that we will pay on time and we will not give a single penny interest is it permitted to use credit card according to the strict focus and the strict scholars they have said signing a contract in which you say that if i default in the payment i will pay an interest whether it be 2% a month or 3% a month which is normally the case in credit card it's very high it's 2 3% sometimes 4% a month which is exorbitant signing a contract even though you pay on time it is haram and sheikh ibn taymin was asked this question he said signing a contract in which there is a clause of riba even if you pay on time is not permitted it is a haram contract and should not be indulged in such a contract as i said in my earlier answer even using credit cards the major scholars the authentic scholars who are strict on quran and sunnah they say using a credit card of a conventional bank is haram even if you pay on time point number 1 by signing the contract that if you default you will pay interest is you agreeing with the terms of riba which is haram and the hadith of the prophet is very clear that the person giving riba the person taking riba the person who is a witness and person who arranges it all are the same and it is haram and allah clearly mentions in eight different places the about riba and allah clearly mentions in surah baqarah chapter 2 verse number 278 and verse number 279 that if you give up not your demands of riba then take notice of a war from allah and his rasul so riba it is the 12th major sin according to imam adhabi in his book the qabair the major sins he puts riba as the 12th major sin and it is like waging a war against allah and his rasul there are many major sins even drinking alcohol is a major sin but allah doesn't say that if you drink alcohol or if you do zina allah and his rasul will wage a war against you as far as riba is concerned allah is explicit in surah baqarah chapter 2 verse 278 and 279 that if you involve if if you involve in riba if you give up not your demands of riba take notice of a war from allah and his rasul and which human being whether muslim or non muslim can wage a war against allah and his rasul so when you sign a contract that's the reason even keeping a savings account in a conventional bank which deal with riba is haram because even though you say that i will keep the money in a saving account or in a fixed deposit and what money i get i will give in charity the quran is clearly taking interest is haram so for giving in charity first you have to take taking interest is haram giving interest is haram signing as a witness or facilitating even signing for a conventional bank account as a witness or introducer to your friend is haram so all these are haram so in a credit card what many people i know there are fatwas given by many so called european scholars and you know fatwa committee of of uh, of the western countries of north america of america i know many okay because it's a zarurat you can use a credit card as long as you pay on time there are high chances that you may forget if number 1 signing a contract even if you pay on time is haram number 1 number 2 who knows about the future can it not be possible that once in a while you may forget and what the clause of the credit card is that after you use the money you have to pay within 30 days can be extended to 59 days depending upon the bank so minimum time period they give is 30 days can be up to 59 days depending which part of the month do you take and if you pay on time they give you free and they charge you a annual fee for using the credit card now annual fee 
for using money on it itself is haram so number one signing the contract is haram taking an annual fees for giving money on riba that's haram and third if you don't pay on time that is haram so if you don't pay on time however much you may be confident there are time that you may forget there are time that you may be sick and you may not pay on time so even if it has happened once in few years it's a grave major sin allah and the full wage of war against you so first of all even if you pay on time it's haram because you're signing a contract number two you're paying the annual fees for credit card that itself is haram number three that if you forget actually you'll be paying riba so all three are haram i know that there are some western countries scholars who say zaro what is the zarawat don't indulge in it you keep a debit card debit card is permitted if you have to have a bank account you can open a current account which does not involve in riba you can't take riba and give it in charity some scholars say that it's okay but the most of them the scholars taking itself is haram so for giving first you have to take so i disagree with muslims keeping in a conventional bank in a fixed deposit or saving the account and saying we'll give the riba in charity thinking we'll get no sawab no that itself is wrong because when you're taking riba you're already getting a major sin by charity you may be getting 100 points plus but taking riba you may be getting 10000 points negative so 10000 negative 100 positive yet you have 9900 negative points what is the benefit but because of the rewards you can open in a conventional bank in a current account which does not involve riba if you want to use a card you can very well use a debit card debit card means if there is account in the money the money can be utilized here you are not taking loan from the bank so debit card is permitted credit card in a conventional bank is prohibited so the alternative you can do is use a debit card see to you put money in the bank if you have to use a card and when there is money whatever money you have that much money you can use whether for shopping whether for payments or bill no problem if it's a islamic bank working on islamic principles and not on riba then you can use a credit card of islamic bank because the sharia is not broken it does not deal with riba it is based on the islamic principles of sharia without involving riba so if you have a credit card of a islamic bank working on the principles of sharia then that's permitted but best i would say is don't take loan even from islamic bank best is not to take loan you can have partnership you can do musharaka with your friends etc best is not to take a loan from any bank if you have to take as a last resort better take from islamic bank than a conventional bank don't use credit card of any bank if you have to use a last resort use of islamic bank okay best is to use the debit card hope that answers the question